Well, hello there everybody and welcome back to another Tuesday Teaching Tips with me, Sally Cathcart. So today I just wanted to, uh, it's not a tip at all, it's just me sharing how I'm feeling about making music live again. I was really privileged on Saturday to take my viola, because I do attempt to play the viola, um, and with some colleagues and friends, uh, we were playing for our very first wedding of 2021. Actually, it was our very first wedding in a very long time, as you can imagine. And what a joyous day it was as well. Just sitting and playing outside, the weather wasn't too bad, it wasn't too windy, the music stayed on the stand. Just getting the viola up underneath my chin, getting lost a few times in the middle of pieces, but always such fun to have that feeling again. And that was following on from last week where I actually started to teach face to face again. And I, I hadn't up till then, um, but I'd been fully vaccinated and, and the right amount of time had, had, had gone past. So I've been teaching again face to face and that is such a joy for everybody concerned, myself and all my pupils are just loving the experience. And we're having lots of fun. In I've been getting all my resources out, whether it's from the Spotty Duck, he's been out having a go. I've been uh, using the flashcards again, and that's been lots of fun because we can do that with social distancing. I've been, I don't have two keyboards in the, um, in my cottage, just a cottage, so it's not big enough. So I've been using chimes instead. Yeah, and doing, especially for the younger beginners who are needing some sort of accompaniments, I've either been recording the accompaniments and then playing them, and that's been good as well and lots of, lots of fun, or sometimes I've just put in the chimes if it's a very simple um, tonic dominant accompaniment. But, you know, the, my favourite resource for many years now have been my floor spots. And of course you can't do a lot with floor spots when you're on your own. So these have all come out and I've been putting them into really good use. So yesterday I had them laid out across my floor. So the student had to walk there to kind of get from the door to the piano. And he's been working on skips and alphabet skips and things as well. So the, the first one had an A on it and he had to skip a letter as he walked across got him thinking, he was enjoying the experience of walking across as well. So I've got I've got these out, more rhythm work I think this afternoon is what I'm going to be working on with um, organising Dotted Crotchet and Quaver Rhythms. So lots of opportunity in these last couple of weeks of my teaching to reinforce lots of concepts, to get the students as well to enjoy their playing because they're loving and playing on the grand piano again. And one thing we're going to be doing with quite a few of them is we're going to be they're going to choose two or three of their favorite pieces and probably not next week but the week after i'm going to record them playing these pieces and before they're going to say a little thank you to their mums and dads for all the support that their parents have given them over the last year so we're not telling the parents this is completely shh, keep it quiet okay so looking forward to doing that with all my pupils as well if you have returned back to face to face, I know you'll be going through exactly the same joys as I am. If you haven't yet, you've still got that to come and it really is worthwhile looking forward to. In the meantime, wherever you are in the world, take care, happy teaching. See you next week for the last Tuesday teaching tips of this year. All right, see you next week. Bye bye.